hello guys welcome to intact about in this video i'm going to show you how to submit a simple html form data to your google drive spreadsheets so what actually is google forms so if you have a gmail if you have a gmail account go to your drive so i'm in my drive right now so in driver you can see there's an option called new Let's click on new click on more you can see a google form data here so here we have a form just think this is a registration form sorry this is a registration form register form something like that so we have to design our form here so, so in basic in our html we have uh, fields like uh, first name last name mobile and email so this is a simple html form i have simply designed it with uh, a simple html you can see it i have saved this with form.html file save as form.html so it's saved in desktop i'll show you the file and desktop so it's uh, yeah it's here open with drive sorry firefox i'm just closing it yeah it's open here so this is what it looks like so i'm just refreshing the file yeah so i just want to submit my form data to my google spreadsheets so i will show you this way in very a simple way without using any ajx or any php form submission uh, to your back end work so i'll make it very simple and clear for this so you must design a form which is a same like your html so in our html form we have first name last name mobile and email so let me create those fields so i'll just create option one a simple question a short answer i'll ask him its name right i'll just delete the second one sorry yeah i'll add the first one name this is a short answer question right add one more what do we have name last name mobile name last name last name and this is also a short answer last name mobile and uh, this is a short answer too so i'll create uh, email this is also a short answer right now you can see how my forms looks like now okay i'll just preview it yeah this is how it looks like name last name mobile and email right so i have the same thing here first name last name mobile and email so i have to link my html form with the register form here so like shown here i'm clicking when i click on the preview i can see my form preview here so people might be not liking this form to display in their in their uh, page so in this case they want to they want to create some customized uh, a form like this a customized html form like this and send the data to their google drive to collect the data in their spreadsheets so it on the google spreadsheets also works as a database here so let me clear that answer also i'll just submit some data here name uh, in that in that that board and mobile is one two three four five six seven eight nine and email is some contact about at gmail.com i'll just submit the data right so your response has been recorded that means the data is successfully submitted in your form sheets 
so let's go and check it so I have one response here so name intact abode so I'll just check it yeah I'll just go and check it in my spreadsheet here yeah I want to rename this with uh, my form responses response create so I'll just check it so it's here yeah you can see it now here so it's uh, the timestamp is by default taken by any form you design in Google Forms and here are the first name last name mobile number email but what we expected is that our HTML form data should submit to the Google Sheets without the help of a register form here so we'll work on it now so I'll come from the beginning now once again so I have my drive in my drive I'll just refresh it once again once again so on title form maybe this is the untitled form maybe so I'll just name it as uh, what I say register form right I'll just go to my drive click on refresh again So you can see the latest open files, the register form and my responses here. So these are opened today. Now I'll just go to my HTML form now. So I'll just close all these things. Let my form open here. And I'll click on this. I'll double click on this. Uh, Google form. And uh, I'll click on the preview button here. Sorry, I haven't seen. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'll click on preview here. So this is my Google form. So I just want to click a uh, set my name field with my first name and last name with my last name field, mobile and email to these fields. So I'll just go to my HTML so I'll click on this register form so I'll just see what is the ID of this form I'll see what is the ID of this form so I'll just go to inspect elements I'm, I might be a little bit quick here so I'll just click on sorry takes it that was not necessary actually so I'll click on inspect elements I'll click on pick an element in the page so I clicked it so here I have a name called entry name so the int the I in the name of this field is entry 190418 so this is unique for all the form details here so this has one unique name this is 142 and this are, this has a unique name this is double eight one two four seven six something like that and this email also have a unique name so it's here so I'll just map uh, my HTML form uh, names with the register form and I'll show what to do next so let me map this I'll click on this so copy it so I'll map this name with this and uh, second one is this one yeah I'll just copy this and map it with this second name and uh, I'll map my mobile number with that too this is awesome and uh, I'll map my entry name with this 
so I'll just click on save yeah now we have the form action here so see every a form has its own actions so let me talk about the form action of this so I'll click on the form so this form is having an action this form is having an ID called mg16 and its action is this so I just want to copy the action of this responses copy and I'll just paste it in my action right that's oh, that's great and uh, the target is self and method is post so I'll copy these things as well so I'll copy this to target target self so target self and the method is post so post method means sending your data post posting your data so post and there are posts and get methods mostly in um, many backend works so you need to specify that post means posting your data and get means getting your data in short words so I'm posting my form data that is the reason we are using the post here right now uh, I think it's completed so let's have a look at it so I'll just save the form data it's already saved now let me refresh my page perfect so I'll try to send my data sodium JY eight nine eight nine one two one two something like that. So interact at trade of com submit tada the data is submitted successful. Yeah, now the thing is we need to check our responses whether the response what I have submitted is recorded or not. So for the Google Drive, click on my responses damn sure that's got recorded here so it was surium jy825 in that yeah so this is how how you can submit your form data without using any uh, great technologies or something like that so this is a very easy way to send your form data to google spreadsheets and uh, this acts as a database right now for you people to send your form data now for your basic form data or HTML form data to submit it to Google Drive so that's a great work so please do like and subscribe my videos my channel sorry so have a great day guys bye take care